Welcome into another paper structure uh, lesson. Today, I want to show you how to pass fill beams and columns in protostructure. structure. So we need to make sure you have done your analysis. I'm using protostructure structure 2018. So I can just perform equal value column and B. Design check, check here, check here. So we we'll see which members we say, and we'll be able to pass those members to see what we can do to pass those members here in the structure. So good. There are so many story beams, so it has to be given some few minutes to complete the reinforcement design. So there are so many story beams. And uh, furthermore, we are going to export this drawing to the table. I'm going to show you how we can quickly detailed columns in my next video so let's just focus on view uh, design and column design and how to pass failed members So I have uh, already stressed is there are so many uh, story beams, so that's why it takes some time to finish the reinforcement design. So this area is because of uh, the model of our sketches, so you can ignore this. Otherwise, you, if you don't notice that error, is you have to. Uh, remove these stacks and instead add the load instead of just and add the load instead so i will not need um, but i can just leave it no problem but of course i will not need these beams this one here I can delete them or leave them but it will not affect my design so i will just leave it let's go to rc design column design Let's see if there are failed members. All my members are passed. So, but to make sure that all your members are passed, you need to select uh, interactive design. Then you have to check the column analysis. So these dots have to be within the interaction diagrams. So if they are within, then we'll be sure that they are passed. But if this is Below it means it is failing in tension. If it is above this uh, interactive diagram, it means that the column is failing in compression. So you have either to increase the the, 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 the cross section area, or increase the the class of concrete, or increase your the size of your rebars. So all our beams are fast. So the next thing I'll do is to that's all our common column. I go to story beams. I have these failed members. So this one I can just 
you can see this all my you can see this red this one this red color indicate it is failing it is failing in so we can just um maybe interaction diagram you can just maybe increase the depth um, let's see which one is failing which span it is span from h to j this span is the one which is failing so i'll go there to that span h to j try to increase my depth to 600 then and go back then you can go to button one button two So you can see now we have it has passed. We just accept. Select this one. Just accept. Select this thing. Accept. So you can see we don't have any red. Uh, any red marks or red uh, labels so just accept the last one is this one you can just um, So we can go to this, increase this one to 550. Then let's go back. So uh, the one which is failing now is is uh, last span. So I can just go back, increase this one to six hundred. So this one has now passed. No, I can just. So we don't can just reduce this one also. Reduce. But you can see now it is failing here. So you can just increase. Smart is passing. So you need to make sure that there is no red. There are no red areas here. It means the provided area is insufficient. So we can just accept.
as long as there are no red marks here. So, so we can go into uh, vision interrogations, then check design status. So you can see, I don't have any failed members. So that's how you first failed members in total structure. So I will see you in my next video where we are going to do the detailing of columns, how you can detail your columns faster in total structure. Like the video, or subscribe.